So last time we set up this equivalence of categories between the, the functor category and the, um, over, um, from x into the slice category. So associated to a functor from x to sets, we had this vibration, this associated vibration as it's known, sometimes called the, the Grotenik vibration. So uh, when I was talking about the functor, I was putting a hat on, and I was taking the hat off when I was talking about the uh, vibration there. Okay, so what I promised you was to talk about associating functors between these things uh, when I have a map between sets. So let's do the, the, the pullback first. So F star is going, whoops, so F is going to go from X to Y. So F star is going to go from, well, I'm, I'm going to have to pick one of these when, when I'm doing it. I'm thinking of, of bundles over X and I just have to sort of say what I mean. Do I mean functor into sets or do I mean the vibration? Uh, well, I'll do both of them because you see you get the, the actual mechanics of it is slightly different. So, um, so we're going to define this. So it's going in the opposite direction. So I'm pulling back a bundle over Y to a, a bundle over X. So if I have some little bundle here sitting over, over Y, this is Y, and this is, this is F. And I've got a map Q, um, what I, and I've got a map here, is F going from X. So I want, it, I want to stick something up here. So I guess I've, I've actually written this uh, in the, opposite, the other way. So this, I've drawn this as something from set of Y, set of X. Um, so I can think of associating to each point in Y is fiber, so what fiber do I, what set do I associate to a, an element in X? Well, all I do is I map it over here to the corresponding point, so X goes to F of X, and then I just decide that that's going to be the fiber. So this is the Q inverse of F of So I just define if I've got f hat then goes from y to set, then f star of f hat going from x to set is just f hat. This is just defined to be f hat composed with f. So I just do go from x to um, to y from x to y and then I compose it to set. So I think I might have to draw something a bit bigger here. Um, so that's possibly the thing there. So what, what I was indicating there that this was the fiber q inverse of f of x which I was also writing of as f hat Okay, so if we just define f star of f hat, f upper star, I should say, because I'm going to do f lower star in a second, just to be composition with f. So when we when we have it in this, when we're talking about doing it between these functor categories, it's just composed with f. Now if I've done it in this setup here, I'm going from set over y to the set over x. I want to say what the totality is. So in this picture, I've just told you what the individual fibers were. If I say what the totality is, well, if you just um, think about it, so the elements in here are going to be a point in x and a point in the corresponding fiber over f of f of x. So from this point of view, f star of f is, so this is supposed to be coming with a the map to x, this is just equal to the pullback. Okay. So it is the, the pullback in the categorical sense of this set f over y. Okay. So that's one way to get from bundles over y to bundles over x. And we also want to go in another direction. So we want to go the other way as well. We want to start off with a bundle over x 
and gave to a, a bundle over Y. So we've we've done the pullback. Uh, so I mean, those of you who've sort of seen pullbacks in topology or algebraic geometry should should uh, feel that that's reasonably familiar. Uh, push forwards are not so familiar to topologists, but maybe to the geometers. Um, maybe I'll say a little bit later how this relates to things like in induction in representation theory as well. So now we want to go in the other direction. So we're going to start off with a bundle over X and head then to a bundle over Y. So we're going to start again with the picture uh, with the fibers. So we've got lots of fibers here. And we want to say, OK, how do I get a bundle over y? So I've got some points down here. And let's just pick a point y here. Oops. And let's make it a big. So I've got the point y here. And I want to fill in some sets here, which is sitting above the point y. So how am I going to do that? Um, well, I've got this map f, and I've got a bundle over x. So I guess associated to this point Y, I automatically have uh, lots of points which map to it. So I've got some set here sitting inside X, which all get sent to Y. So this is the set here. This is the set F inverse of Y. OK, and sitting above this set, I've got all the collection of the fibers there. I've got, you know, in this case, I've got, say, three fibers. So I want to associate uh, something to this point one. Now, I've got a collection of sets, and I want to create a single set. So how can I do that? Well, I can think of at least two ways. I can either take the disjoint union of these, or I can take the product of them. I'm in sets. I'm allowed to do those two things. In this case, what I actually want to do is I want to take the product of these sets. So this here, so this is going to be at lower star of, uh, of e hat at point y, this is going to be defined to be the product of the fibers of x, where x is in the pre-image. So I'll just sort of explain what this is in a slightly different way. What, I, what is the product of these fibers? So that means an element in the product just means taking an element in each of these sets. So an element in the product is I take a, an element in there, an element in there, and an element in there. That's what an element in the product is. So simultaneously, I take one from each of them. You can think of that as being like a, a, a section of this vibration here over uh, this pre-image of Y. So an element in the fiber over Y is just a section of the bundle over the pre-image of X. So this is this you can think of as, as a section of, of E over inverse of y. And so this gives us a functor f star from set to uh, from functors set to x into functors set to y. So this is going in the correct in the same direction as x. So this is this is our first push forward. Okay. So I'll, I'll say this again next time, but I, I, I had the alternative of taking the, the co-product instead of the product here. I could have taken the disjoint union. So that will give us another functor in that direction. I'll go into that next time.